been just excruciatingly painful for Pat because he knows he's a war soldier. This is his moment, and if he's not in it, it's going to, to just be torture. But Operation Fortitude has a special place for Pat. In the spring of 1944, Allied leaders covertly send Patton to England. Along with 250,000 men and what appears to be thousands of tanks and fighter planes. But Patton's not going to lead an invasion, and his army isn't what it seems. Instead of heavy machinery and modern weapons, Patton's armed with balloons. Roosevelt and Churchill used Patton as a deception. They actually have Hollywood people help them create what is essentially a phony army. There's phony tanks that are actually nothing but balloons. There's barracks. It appears that there are hundreds of thousands of Allied troops assembled across the channel from France. So the Allied tanks hits. It isn't long before Hitler sees German intelligence photographs of Patton's supposed army. And he completely takes the bait. Hitler thinks he's outsmarted the Allies. He refuses to believe that Patton has been sidelined just for slapping a soldier. Patton. Here are the three major ports suitable for an operation of this size. The only other viable landing is uh, from the south. Well, the real invasion would be here. At Patikande. With Patton. Hitler knows that Patton is one of Roosevelt's best generals. The general who is bold and audacious. So in all likelihood, Patton is going to be leading the attack. Hitler is convinced the legendary general is preparing to invade the French mainland at Pas de Calais, a major port city in northern France, mere miles across the English Channel from where Patton's forces are gathering. So he sends a million troops to Calais to fortify the city. On June 6, 1944, the day that will come to be known as D-Day, finally arrives. Roosevelt and Churchill order 150,000 Allied troops to pile into over 4,000 boats and head to France. In the largest amphibious invasion ever attempted. On a day that will come to be known as D-Day, 150,000 Allied troops pile into thousands of boats and head toward France in the largest amphibious invasion ever attempted. Across the channel, more than a million German soldiers prepare for an attack, fortifying the French port city of Calais, where Adolf Hitler is convinced an Allied army led by George Patton will land. What Hitler doesn't know is that the Allied force isn't being led by Patton and isn't heading to Calais. Its target is just over 200 miles to the south, the beaches of Normandy.
after a brutal fight, the Allied forces capture the beaches. The question of D-Day was, can the Americans primarily, but the British as well, establish a foothold on the European continent? If they can, there was some hope that maybe Hitler could be overthrown.